one request which I've gotten a lot in the past is actually figuring out which page a user is on. So if we go to view, you'll see up the top here, the URL is form slash contact us. If you click on next, well, let me just chuck in a few options. You'll see that again, the form is, the URL to the form is exactly the same. If you click on a few more options here, you'll see that the URL is the same. And this actually makes it hard to use some type of analytics tool to track um, at what point a user has progressed through the form. Now, luckily, Webform does have, the, have a single option that adds in the page key as a get request. So if we go to settings and then click on form, and I believe it's all the way down at the bottom. So here you have the form wizard settings. So you can here you can change a whole, a whole, a whole bunch of stuff. And from this dropdown, you can, you can add in a few options. So you have the page name where it, it'll add in a get request with the page key, or you can add in the actual index. So if it's like zero, one, two, three, and four. I always like to add in the page key. Then we scroll down, click on save. Then if we click on test and click on next, you will see slash test because we are using the test feature. But most importantly, it is passing a page equals then the page key name. So you can track and see how far somebody has gotten through the form before they jump off. And this is a this is a very powerful tool to see just how well your forms are running.